We're good. Cool. Well, welcome everybody to our Healthy Living event. This event is brought to us by the Juice Plus Company. Uh, my name is Josh Duhan. For those of you who do not know me, I am a senior sales coordinator with the Juice Plus Company. I've had that honor and privilege and um, really great prosperity now for a few short years, although this food has been in my family now for a long, long time. Uh, I have actually been swallowing uh, Juice Plus capsules since I was about 10 years old. Uh, my mom and my aunt, and a lot of you may know my aunt, her name is Cheryl Cortese, uh, really insisted on the best health uh, for their families. And so my family was actually with the Juice Plus company prior to Juice Plus products even being on the market. And before the company was even called the Juice Plus company, my family was with this company. And the name at the time was NSA, and that stood for National Safety Association. So in the early 90s, uh, NSA brought out this product line uh, in the field of health technology. And really what we have here, guys, is a juicing replacement. Uh, I know so many of us uh, love fresh juice. Uh, I love to drink fresh juice. Um, but, you know, there are a couple of downsides with trying to take in fresh juice every day. Uh, number one, if you're trying to go buy it at the store and you're going to do, let's say, two or three juices a day, which is really what you would get out of one dose of Juice Plus, you get about three fresh pressed juices is really the equivalent. That gets really expensive. And then if you look and you try to do that for an entire family, and then you're gonna do that every day for 365 days a year, it's really just not sustainable. So uh, the Juice Plus company uh, really saw um, kind of a niche in the marketplace and entered that niche with these products. And, you know, I'll point out a couple of things and then we'll go to our guest speaker this evening. Uh, the first thing I like to point out about these products, because at first glance, you know, it looks uh, a lot like a supplement. Um, and many of us have supplement bottles sitting on our counters, or maybe we did prior to being introduced to Juice Plus. And, you know, so many of us did not get the results that we were looking for. And so instead of trying to compete with the supplement market, uh, the Juice Plus company brought in uh, a product that has a nutrition label. And it's very important for people to look at this and understand the difference here. Nutrition facts labels, guys, are reserved for food only. So the FDA recognizes us as food, not a supplement, which is really, really important because our bodies were designed to take in food. And many supplements are synthetically designed in labs and our bodies take them in and they really don't know what they are. Uh, they don't know how to process them. And so many of the supplements that people eat every day, they're really just eliminated immediately. So um, the products that I've got here this evening are what uh, we call the core four product line. And you guys will see my, my bottles are marked so that my friends don't get in my supply. I got friends that come over and they have juice plus two. And so I don't want to eat out of my bottle. So I got a little black marks on mine, but <laughs> the black marks are to, to identify my bottles. But the green bottle is going to be your veggie blend. Uh, the red bottle is going to be your fruit blend. The orange bottle back here in the back is our brand new full spectrum Omega. And the front bottle here is our berry blend. And so when you take two capsules out of each bottle daily, you're getting the equivalent of 30 servings of fruits, vegetables, berries, and grains. And now a brand new full spectrum Omega Juice Plus just introduced this in the marketplace. It is very unique because not only does it have an omega-3, which most of us are accustomed to, but it's also full spectrum. So it's gonna be three, five, six, seven, and nine. And the coolest thing about this, guys, is that it's totally vegan, vegetarian. It's all from plants. There's no fish oil in this. Juice Plus saw a real um, issue with getting omega-3s from fish because over the long term, it's just not going to be sustainable. So a lot of people don't know this. I like to explain this. Fish go eat the algae. We eat the fish. That's where many people get their omega-3s. Juice Plus went and harvested omega-3s directly from the algae and kind of cut out the middleman there. So, you know, uh, one of the other things that's super impressive about this product line is its massive amount of clinical data, okay? We are now the most researched capsule in the world with almost 40 published clinical trials. Uh, and guys, this is gold standard research. Blind, double blinded, uh, it performed at some of the most prestigious entities throughout the world. And really that collection of research 
has attracted a massive uh, portion of the medical community to our business. Uh, about a fourth of my family's business that goes out the door every month, uh, which is compromised of this entire organization that's on the line tonight, uh, is going out of medical doctor's offices, uh, pediatricians, um, you know, gynecologists, uh, chiropractors, uh, a, a dental surgeon who we'll hear from tonight. Uh, many doctors uh, see this as an incredible way to help their patients maintain a very high level of nutrition at a really affordable cost. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go to our guest speaker for the evening. Our first one, should I say, her name is Dr. Suzanne Sadie Phillips. Uh, Suzanne is a mom of three. Uh, she got her Doctor of Dental Surgery or her DDS uh, from the University of Pacific in San Francisco. Uh, Suzanne spent time in Finland researching migraine patterns of oral cancer patients. And now she's back in the US. Suzanne continues her practice in dentistry for 30 years she's been in this profession. Uh, she's uh, excited to use this lifetime of health education and experience as inspiration for her passion, uh, which is really encouraging people uh, towards holistic cures. So, uh, Suzanne, without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you share your Juice Plus story with all of us this evening. Thank you so much, Josh. I really appreciate that intro. And hello, everyone. Um, my name is Dr. Sadie Phillips, but call me Suzanne. Um, that's what people call me in my office. Um, I, you know, I've been a practicing dentist for 28 years, and as proud as I am of that accomplishment, like it's 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 great. Like I, you know, I put myself through dental school. I actually became a dentist because, and this is important. I don't really share this very much, but I consider this a kind of an intimate setting and I know this is going to be shared out there, but I became a dentist because I was in a car accident and I lost teeth. And so when I lost teeth myself, meaning three of my front teeth by hitting the steering wheel, someone came around the corner and hit me head on. So that, you know, that happened. And then I had to go through the, you know, the pain and the suffering and the, and all of the embarrassment of not having teeth and wearing a retainer with teeth on it. So you know, I, I basically became very passionate. I just wanted to share that because you can kind of get an insight into the type of person I am. I became very curious and very passionate about dentistry and about really helping people. And I really wanted to help people from my perspective, meaning I didn't have teeth when I started dental school, believe it or not. Like I, I started dental school without teeth. So when we did exams on each other, I had to, what did I have to do? I had to take my, my teeth out, <laughs> which is silly, but anyway. Um, so what happened was I put myself through dental school and I, I had my own student loans. Um, when I graduated, I built a practice on the playground, I like to say, because I was a brand new mom and I was starting out in this community here in Northern California that was very suburban. I was not used to it. I was used to a little bit more faster pace of life, you know, living in San Francisco for a while. And, you know, and so what I did was I basically started talking to other moms um, on the playground and wherever, wherever there were people, I started talking to them without really having the, the end result of being building a practice. So I built a practice, everything was smooth sailing, had three daughters, and then all of a sudden, you know, I don't know how many people out there, things are going really well. And then all of a sudden things start going not so well, like who can relate to that, right? So we've all had those moments, right? No matter how prepared you think you are for a situation. So at the time, my eldest daughter was six. I, you know, was really very picky about her, their food and like preparing food. And even though I was running this practice, I was a solo practitioner. I had built this practice up from all these patients in the community. And all of a sudden my daughter gets sick. What does that look like? It looked like she was running down the soccer field and she started falling face first. Nobody could figure it out. Stanford, NIH in Bethesda, Maryland, UCSF, nobody could figure it out. It took about almost four months of tests, poking, prodding my poor little daughter to figure out that she had a rare autoimmune disorder. She had a three in a million autoimmune disorder. Then flash forward eight more years of poking, prodding, IVs, even chemo for a month. Nothing touched her pain. She actually got worse instead of better. And this, this just, this was probably, probably one of those things in life that happened that I could have never anticipated. Hindsight, there's no genetic link, there's no heredity, there's nothing that they've to this moment been able to tell me 
that there was a link. The only thing that we could figure out is that she's sensitive to something in her environment. It could be pesticides in her, something she ate. It could be, it could, there could be some link that we have no idea about it, but lifestyle definitely was, you know, um, ultimately was the, the game changer for me. I was introduced to Juice Plus by a national marketing director in our company, a girlfriend of mine, Lauren uh, Lahav, and she came to see me as a, as a dentist. I met her at a Life Master event. I, um, she came to see me because she didn't have the benefits that we get once we reach a certain level in this company. She didn't have those yet. She was on the heels of it. She was like milliseconds away. Um, she said, hey, I need a dentist. I said, come see me. Well, little did I know that she came to see me with this big, anybody that knows her, she's a big, huge basket um, of fruit and like healthy food. And there in the middle were our products, Juice Plus products right in the middle. Well, I was, you know, it made sense to me. Like when she explained to me what it is, it really did make a lot of sense to me. What I had going against me was I have the I'm too cool syndrome. I don't know who out there has the I, I'm too cool syndrome, but I had that syndrome. I didn't, I didn't really call it that at the time, but now that's what I call it. So I was definitely, you know, game for, you know, starting on the products because going between going from my practice to the hospital and back and forth, I had no time for anything. I, I was chasing my tail. I had no energy. And so um, I started giving my daughter juice plus and I started her on the capsules because her autoimmune disorder was so, so serious. And she was in a wheelchair at that point. I was carrying her up the stairs. I had also become a single mom. I know this is a lot of information, but I just wanted to get paint the picture of how serious and how hor horrific this time was for her and, and also trying to manage everything. So once I started giving her the products, I'll never forget, it was a month before her 13th birthday. I started giving them to her and, there, and, and amazingly, a month later she turned 13 and you know I started noticing on my own that she didn't need as many pain pills. You know, she didn't, Normally it was like we were on a schedule. We had a, we had a schedule about all her meds. She didn't need the pain medicine anymore, which was in my mind, like, wow, the medicine that she was given at the hospital is actually working. Well, guess what? So four months later, you know, so I still have the, I'm too cool. So four months later, she's actually walking upstairs on her own. She was able to go on her first field trip. Like, I don't know how many parents or people on this call that has ever been a child themselves, like, you know, the feeling of like not being able to have your own child or yourself, like go up one step, like they can't even participate in anything in school. So she was able to go on her first field trip to DC, you know, and it was, it's, it was just like, it blew our minds. Within two years, she was off all her meds. She started at UC Berkeley about five years ago, med-free, pain-free, no symptoms, in remission now, because you know autoimmune disorders don't go away. It was her cells that finally were like in a good place. It was her lifestyle. Like we had been flooding her with fruits, veggies, berries. We didn't have the omegas even at that time. And so, and guess what? I still had the I'm too cool because I thought somehow miraculously all this stuff to, together actually helped her. Well, guess what happened? As soon as she started college and I got her all set up in her dorm, she had her juice plus there. She didn't take it. She didn't take it for at least the first month and a half. I get a phone call at my office thinking everything's good. Everything's back to being, you know, just happy, happy, sloppy again. And guess what? They were taking her via ambulance to the hospital. That's how bad it was. So, so she tends to be like me. She tends to think everything's fine until it's not. And so she kept pushing down the pain, pushing down like the discomfort. We were isolated. They thought she had Ebola because she had been to Africa on a volunteer trip um, as a senior in high school, all this stuff. They did all this test. Um, a week later, basically autoimmune back. So luckily they only started her on a very, very, very small dose of, of prednisone, like, a, like an eighth of a milligram. And we flooded her again with fruits and veggies. Um, we started giving her, you know, handfuls of it, to be honest with you. And, you know, she was actually um, back to feeling really healthy within another, you know, three to four months. So it did take a little bit because she had been off of it, but, you know, she, she learned her lesson. She's like, mom, I'm never going to stop taking that again. Um, I'm, my Juice Plus is 
going in my body and she graduated with honors. She's, she's applying to grad school right as we speak. And so that story, that whole process that I went through and that realization, yes, I may be hard headed, but it took that amount of time. And during that time I was sharing with patients all along. So I actually got quite far in this company without really, I was ignorance on fire though. Like I was just telling people because they were asking how Sarah was, I was telling them what, what was helping her. And so when I actually realized when that light bulb went off that, wow, my daughter, like this is transformational. This is something that I need to tell people about because if I, if I don't tell people that it wasn't, you know, the meds, ultimately it was actually juice plus that really put her body in a more alkaline state. Um, and I'll talk about the relationship in a, in a second, but it, it put her in a much better state for her body to be able to heal itself. So I am, I will never go a day without it. I needed the energy. I could go on and on about like all the, all the transformations, but that powerful transformation alone was what I needed. So as soon as I, I started to talk to patients about this, I started to realize, I'm like, wait a minute. Meanwhile, my friend Lauren had risen to the top. One of the, she would become one of the leaders in our company. And I started to watch her on social media. I started to see her lifestyle. I started to see all the things, the fun things she was doing. I started to go to conferences. I started to really get excited about the business. And, you know, what, what I kind of like my aha moment was, you know, one of those moments where she said, you know, come with me. She invited me to this trip. And I, it was, it was just like mind blowing because I was able to say yes, because I had built up the business to that point where I was able to say yes, to scoot out of my practice, at least for, you know, a short amount of time. Now, since that time I've sold my practice. Um, that's another long story, but I've immersed, I've literally dived into this business, you know, head first because I see the potential. I see the potential of the, this business and what it can do. And I never understood residual income, but what residual e income equals is lifestyle freedom. What it does equal for me is the ability for me not to have to watch myself hunch over patients, you know, work tirelessly to where I have carpal tunnel syndrome and, and literally like saying no to, to all kinds of possibilities in my life. Now I'm saying yes. So that's what I'm on the mission to, to do is inspire people to, to live healthy, to, you know, to really live wealthier as well because of that health and wealth, you know, and, and I really wanted to talk a little bit also about the research because the research it should have, because I do have a background in research studies, it should have been like the primary focus that I had, but because my daughter was so sick, that was my primary focus. Like, Hey, I need energy. Give it to me. But as soon as I started reading the research studies, let me tell you, I was blown away. And what blows me away about this, like Josh said, we have almost 40 published clinical research studies right now. And let me just tell you how powerful it is when they say that it's peer reviewed, double blind, that like no other companies out there do that. Like they don't have to do that. We don't have to do that as a company, but we do that because we have integrity. And that's, that's really important for you to know. And what's, what's also important for you to know is that there's the one, the research studies that I'm going to speak about, I could speak about multi, but I want to start with the periodontal research study. The periodontal research study is important because, you know, your oral systemic health is directly linked to your overall health. So it's super important to know that your mouth is the gateway to the rest of your health. So whether it's what you're putting in your body, you know, inflammation in your mouth, literally any of us could literally, you know, open our, you know, peel back our lips and look at our gums. Do you have any red spots? Do you have any bleeding when you floss your teeth or when you brush your teeth? That's inflammation. And that inflammation is bacteria that has gotten down into the pockets. And guess what? That is gum disease. And in some cases it's periodontal disease. And guess what that is? That's an autoimmune disorder. Not a lot of people talk about that, but it's an autoimmune disorder. And I could definitely, as a dentist, I could help you out. I could educate you. I could, you know, I could definitely like get you all cleaned up in my office and take care of that. You know, whether it was a regular cleaning or deep cleaning, some surgery, some laser, 
But guess what's going to ultimately help you? It's your lifestyle. Your lifestyle change is what's going to really ultimately help you. And that's what was interesting is that the moment that I start getting my patients on the capsules, the juice plus, and that, mind you, we didn't have the omega when I first was introduced to this company. Now we have the omega. So when I get patients on, you know, the quad, like Josh talked about, like, it's mind blowing because sometimes they don't have the money to come back and have the deep cleaning, but guess what? They keep taking their juice plus. So, you know, I see inflammation go down dramatically. And then the other thing is the omegas. We just came from conference and they are talking about the omega study, the omega blend study that just got published. It's mind blowing. It's mind blowing because after only eight weeks of the omega taken with the the trio of the fruit, veggie, and, and um, berry blend capsules, the omega levels, the omega-3 levels in the body, your, your body, all your organs, all your tissues, all your cells need omegas. They all need omegas. And so the, the levels of omega were off the charts within eight weeks. They were, they, the study was actually supposed to go on for like, I think 12 weeks. And after eight weeks, they were like, wow. You know, so I mean, so that's the thing. I've noticed that, you know, you know, sometimes you get kind of that foggy brain or you get a little bit of like, you know, skin like irritation or hair loss or things like that. None of that. I've had so, such an amazing, I didn't think I'd see a remarkable difference, but I definitely have seen a remarkable difference you know, with the omegas combined with the other three capsules. So I just wanted to share that with you because it's really super powerful and it really is meant to go together and the reason why our company like has set a new standard is because it's vegan it's all plant-based it's it's sustainable instead of going to the ocean and like farming more fish out of the ocean and taking all the ocean the fish out of the ocean which fish actually get the omegas from sea algae which our company was smart enough to actually start growing in isolated environments. So we don't have to deal with the, the pollutants and the toxic um, chemicals in the oceans. And so it's all completely sustainable. How smart is that? So anyway, I could keep going. Thank you so much for letting me share and I'll pass it back to you. Suzanne, thank you so much. I'm gonna quickly go to my co-host for the evening, uh, Carol Turnbow. Carol is out of South Bend, Indiana. Uh, she is a mom, a grandmother now, a CrossFit Masters athlete, and a excellent example of why I chose to join this mission of inspiring healthy living around the world. I wanted to have something I could give to people when I found them who were overworked, underpaid, stressed out of their minds, as Suzanne said, zero lifestyle, right? Working somewhere 40, 50, someplace 60 hours a week and still not making enough money to survive. Carol was definitely kind of in that place. Carol, why don't you share your 18 month story from overworked and underpaid to feeling better than you ever had before in your life and now living just really the life of your dreams. Tell us what happened for you. Absolutely. So hello, everybody. My name is Carol Turbo. I'm a sales coordinator with the Juice Plus company. I've been with the company just a little over two years now. And um, I was actually introduced to the product by my CrossFit coach um, to help with my muscle soreness. I was training really heavy. And so I approached him um, because my muscle soreness was out of this world. And so um, I thought I was going to die. And so he told me about Juice Plus, but kind of just passed me on to Dr. Borders, who um, introduced him to Juice Plus. So Dr. Borders took the time to um, explain Juice Plus to me, but he also told me about this business opportunity. And so at the time um, that I that all of this came into play, um, I was working um, a nine to five at a chiropractor's office. I was training um, clients on the side on my lunch hour at 5.30 in the morning. I was trying to get my workout in because I'm an athlete myself. I was running boot camps at night. So I was literally everywhere, you know, from 5.30 in the morning until 8.30 at night. Um, just any job I could find, you know, just, just working and, and trying to make it happen. So um, Dr. Borders introduced me to the business and um, it totally, the product already made sense. Um, and so I was like, I'm, I'm in. So for $50 and I honestly, um, even working all those jobs, barely had $50. Like 
it was a lot for me to give $50, but I was like, okay, $50, um, I get the benefit of building my own business. I can work, you know, with this company. I'm not working for this company. And so I just started telling everybody I knew um, that uh, about the, the power of this product. Um, I, I love talking about nutrition. I love teaching people how to change their lifestyle, their health, their food, their, their uh, workouts, you know, that type of thing. So um, 14 months into uh, working with the Juice Plus company, I was able to quit my nine to five. Um, and so I found out about midway through all of that, that I was expecting a grandson. And so my goal was that by the time my grandson was born, that if I got a phone call that they needed me to take the baby, or if I just wanted to take the baby, um, that I was going to be able to say yes time freedom was very important to me. So um, I, I don't have to go to work anymore. Um, I, I do my I, I CrossFit coach. Uh, I, I train several hours a day. Um, I take the baby whenever I possibly can. Um, and so my days are mine. They're built on, you know, what I want to do each and every day. Um, my family, my grandchild, and um, my CrossFit and the people that I love. So that's my quick story, Josh, <laughs> of, of uh, how I went from literally working all the time to, I, I make my days now. And I love that time freedom. It's, it's tremendous. It's made a big difference in actually myself as an athlete too. Yay. So. I love these stories. Okay. We're going to go to one more person and we may run a little bit over, but that's okay. Uh, because she's got an incredible story. Chandri, I saw you're on. Uh, I just actually met Chandri for the first time at conference. Could you Chandria, please share with us? Cause you've got a crazy product story and that you found Juice Plus years ago and then kind of lost it and then went through some real health challenges and found it again. And that rediscovery has turned into a really powerful business for you. Would you share that story with us and just unmute yourself? There you go. Okay, thank you, Josh, sorry. <laughs> um, I found Juice Plus, I traveled around the world with my friends, we backpack, backpacked in Europe, sorry. I uh, backpacked in Europe and I picked up a parasite. When I got back home, I figured out I was very sick and was hospitalized for a little over a week, week and a half. And uh, they basically tore my gut system up with antibiotics. And uh, I had to move back home. I was living in a whole nother state, enjoying missionary work and going to college at the same time and had to move back home with my parents. I felt defeated. Um, I felt lost and I felt like I just was, I had nowhere else to go turn to, but my parents' friend gave them these red and green capsule bottles. I never knew the name of them. Um, and of course, when your parents tell you to take something, you do it. Um, and I did just that. And I will say within three months, I was back to being able to eat food again and digest it. And then by six months, I gained back the 30 pounds that I had lost. I had lost that much weight and I'm already a thin person. Um, so I looked really bad. My skin was coming back. I felt better. So as what any other 19-year-old would do, I stopped taking the red and green capsules and went back to being a 19-year-old. Uh, but I did clean my diet up. It did catapult me to eat a more vegetarian lifestyle, which I continued to do until I became vegan in 06. Uh, ate a wheat-free, gluten-free, very clean diet. But I started to have a lot of female issues um, that just came about in a couple years. And I went to my OBGYN. She gave me six months to clean up my diet or we were going to look for medical uh, medicine to fix it. And I found at a uh, raw foods clinic I was invited to, I saw those red and green capsules sitting on the cabinet there. And I said, oh, they're called Juice Plus. I'm buying them because I know they work. And then there was a purple capsule. I said, well, I'm going to buy that too. And I'm going to pay those $50 that they're saying and because I'm going to buy this every day. I had no intention of doing the business. And then they show pictures of people who took the Shred 10 program with a shake, along with these omegas that were plant-based. I love omegas. Um, and I said, well, I'm getting all of it. And I know a lot of people this can help. And as of now, we have over 50 people. Um, I have over 50 customers that do the Shred 10 as of right now. Um, I hope that number stays and grows. Uh, but they are benefiting from proper nutrition. And this Saturday, uh, Charlene Woodruff and I have been invited to a bloodless a trauma center here in Atlanta because of the nutrition that others have seen that we've taken on and used to help other people with uh, juice plus and changing their eating habits as well. We've been invited to speak to the doctors at this 
Trauma Center Bloodless Hospital in Atlanta. Um, and we're excited. So pray for us and help us wherever you can. Um, but this is where it's led to, and it's going to help so many other people. It's just the sky's the limit from here that it's reaching hospitals. Chandria, thank you so much. That's incredible. And guys, before we close out, um, I will uh, give you all this as we close. Uh, first off, we meet like this every Thursday night, 5.30 to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's going to be 7.30 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8.30 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, the purpose of this event is to educate uh, the consumer base, the marketplace, um, which really at this point is untouched. And that's kind of crazy considering our company is nearly 50 years old, will be 50 years old next year. This product line is 26 years old and we have less than 3% of a market share. And last year we did nearly a billion dollars in sales in 27 countries around the world. So to say that the timing is good is an understatement. The world right now, the world right now um, with uh, illness uh, and so many issues um, through good food and, and really through uh, a community of people who care about one another. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're all going to sign off and then we're actually all going to sign back on for a short training that'll take place from now until about 630 that my aunt is going to run. And any of you who are looking at this for the first time, are certainly invited to attend that training. Uh, it is gonna be a basic foundational training. Uh, you can kind of listen in and see how all this works if you'd like. And Carol, I'll let you sign off now and then restart. And all of us, I'll wait for you to restart so we can start the training. Good night, everybody.